So I've gone from my sketch in Sketchbook Pro and I'm now in 123D Design. So what I want to do is create this wheel. It consists of three parts, the outer tire, the metal rim, and that center wooden piece. So how do we do that? Well, I'm in a new file. I'm going to go to the sketch and create a circle. Selecting the plane that I want the circle to be on. Dragging that out, I want the radius to be 150 millimeters. Let's zoom out and have a look at that. I'm using the center mouse wheel. Click outside there, that keeps the command active. My second circle will be 110 millimeter radius. Again, on the outside area. And the third circle, 95. And you can press escape just to get out of the command. Now I have the three circles, so I could go up to construct, extrude. A slightly quicker workflow is just to go straight to that circle and you get a subset of commands available. There they are. I need all three circles, holding down the control key, then going to extrude. I'm going to drag it downwards. I always like the sketch to be up top. Not critical. You can just drag it upwards as well. I need to cut something out. Now I could go to my little drop down list and go cut, but I just put a negative two. Same effect. And this one, negative five. So we've got two little steps in there representing the metal rim and the wooden centerpiece. Of course, I have to do that on the other side. First thing I'm going to do, though, is I can hide the sketch. There we go. Just hide the sketch. Turn that over. Now, there's one new little trick you have to learn, and that is you need to project a surface so we can get the center of that big circle. Looking straight onto that circle, using my view cube, project, select the face, select it again, and right in the center you can see that center point. Back to circle, and you should know the answer by now, right? It's going to be 110 millimeters radius. And then the second circle, 95. So I'm just going to draw these circles. You know the workflow then. It's going to be a negative 2 and a negative 5 distance using extrude. So we have both sides completed. It doesn't quite look like a wheel yet though, so what we need to do is round that top surface. And I'm going to use the fillet tool. Select one edge, select the other. I know the depth is 30 millimeters, so I'm going to put in 15 as my fillet. And that'll completely round that off. Start to look a bit better. I need to add some materials, give it some life here, right? Now, when you hover over it, it selects the whole wheel. Just go out, come back in, and you can start to select faces, holding down the control key. Three faces to select for the outside of the tire. I'm going to go to paint, a nice glossy black color. Right click, assign to selection. That's looking good. Same procedure, making sure you're selecting just the face and then the little vertical face in there you want to deal with as well. You have to zoom in to get that one, it's much easier. Back to material. This time it's going to be metal. It's way down at the bottom. Stainless steel. Lots of cool colors in there. You might want to experiment with some of them. And the last one is going to be red birch. So wood, red birch, a sign. I've done both sides. It didn't happen by magic. I did have to go back on the other side and apply those materials. Now I need more than one wheel. It's got two wheels. They're identical. And they're 550 millimeters apart. To help me do that, I have to create a sketch of a short line, a little horizontal line here. So I have to project that surface to get the center point. And it doesn't matter. The length of the line is not critical, as long as you can see it. Then I'm going to go to Pattern. And under Pattern, you'll find Mirror. Make sure you select the whole wheel, not just the face. And you go to the second little arrow there. That's the direction. 
And when you drag that, you'll see the defaults are set to three wheels, not two. So we'll change it to two. And we'll set the center to center distance 550. Click in the background, and that's done. The downside, of course, is that the second wheel doesn't have the materials attached, so it just takes a few more seconds to go back in and add the materials to the second wheel. That back wheel is also offset by 30 millimeters, and we'll be doing that later on.